Hi everyone, it's Gina and today I want to talk to you about the new timeline for your Facebook business page. Facebook has announced that beginning March the 30th that all business pages will have the new timeline. What Facebook doesn't tell you up front is how this will impact some of the more popular features that you may have on your Facebook pages at the moment. Two things of note are is how the new timeline treats the apps that allows you to have links or tabs to your business page and how it treats fan versus non-fan content. So today's video is a two-parter. In the first part, I'm going to walk you through how you can install the new timeline if you don't want to wait for the rollout on March the 30th. And then in the second part, I'll talk to you about and give you some insight into the impact that the new timeline will have on your existing business pages. So let's get started then with part one of this video. So you're going to be logged into your Facebook a profile and you can call up any of the pages that you manage. So I've just called up one of my pages and when you open up your page now bear in mind that Facebook does not always roll out all of these features to everyone at the same time. If it's already been rolled out to your profile or to your page when you open your page you should see coming soon new Facebook pages and a note that tells you that on March the 30th all of the pages will get this new design but if you want to go ahead now and make it happen before March 30th you can do so and what Facebook has done it's allowed you to have a preview of what the page will look like so I'm gonna click on preview and so there it's shown me what my Facebook page will look like and it'll give me the opportunity to either publish it now or just take a tour. What I want to talk about is pay attention to where it says add a cover. Now if you remember if you go over here to Facebook on my timeline I actually have the new timeline and you can see that here's this image at the top of the timeline so that's the cover that they're talking about. So you're going to get an opportunity to create a new cover for your business page and the timeline there. So I'm going to go back to that page. Now here's what I want to bring to your attention. Notice what Facebook says. It tells you to go and choose a photo for your Facebook page. However, notice what it says very carefully. This space is not meant for promotions, coupons, or advertisements. Your cover photo should not be primarily text-based or infringe on anyone else's copyright. So basically you want to pay very close attention to that and be sure that you're not infringing on the policy that Facebook has laid out here. Okay, so you can go ahead and add a cover. And what happens is, is when you click choose from your photos, if you don't have a photo that's large enough, Facebook will tell you that. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose this photo just for the point of demonstrating. I've chosen that photo and because it is large enough, I am going to go ahead and use it. And it says it allows me to drag and I'm not infringing on anything. I just have the name of the page there. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for the time being. I'm probably going to come back and change this a little later, but just for the sake of demonstrating there I've got and I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes and if my computer will work. okay so there you have it that's the new cover on my Facebook page and I'm actually gonna go ahead and publish the new timeline so in order for other people to see the new layout on your page you actually have to publish so I'm actually gonna go ahead and publish it now okay and there you have it I'm publishing and so anybody that comes to my page is going to see the new timeline. Um, and there it is. All right. So once you've published your page, this is what you're going to see. And this is only in the case of the admins of the page. So in order to get rid of this, you just click on this. Or you can, you know, you may want to spend some time looking at these links here and it, 
it's pretty much some of the stuff that you used to see in a different format. But in order to get rid of this, you click on the hide button. And, and for now, Facebook is going to have this message here that's congratulating you and it'll give you some more options and things for you to learn some more about. But you can also get rid of that by clicking on this button here. And now you have a true replication of what the timeline for your page looks like. So there you have it, using the, adding the new timeline to your Facebook business page. So thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to add them below, and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. And don't forget, there is a part two to this topic, and in that video, I will be talking to you more about the loss of certain features that previously existed and the introduction of new features. So feel free to take a look at that video as well. And thanks for watching.